we are going to discuss a simple ARM program in which we are going to divide two numbers using repeated subtraction. So let us take a look of a simple program where we take first number in value 1 as 0, 06 and second number 0, 02 in value 2 and we are going to divide this 6 with 0, 02 so we will get a result of 0, 03 in quotient and remainder equal to how this division is performed using repeated subtraction using repeated subtraction this number 0, 06 is subtracted with 0, 02 second number and it should be subtracted until we get a result equal to 0 or a negative number so to check this result equal to 0 or negative we use a BPL instruction so BPL instruction is a branch if positive if a number is greater than 0 then the this operation is going to be performed if number is equal to 0 or negative then this branch instruction is going to be not executed it should be exit from the loop so this is a main instruction how we can perform the operation of repeated subtraction so let us take a look of complete program in this area we define program in main section we define the instructions LDR is used to use to load the register from the value this is value 1 is a variable which is defined right here its value is 0, 06 so 0, 06 is loaded into R1 register load register R2 with value 2 so value 2 is 0, 02 so 0, 02 is loaded into register R2 so here R1 equal to 0, 06 R2 is equal to 0, 02 so this is 0, 06 this is 0, 02 and here we load R3 register as a 0, 00 so R3 is a 0, 00 now right here we perform subtraction r1 is subtracted from r2 so r1 result is r1 so r1 is subtracted from r2 here r1 is 0, 06 it's subtracted from r2 0, 02 so result is going to be 0, 04 in this direction so r1 is right now holding the value 0 4 now add r3 with 1 so r3 we take r3 as a r3 as a quotient and r4 as a remainder so r3 is equal to 1 so in first case r3 is equal to initially r3 is 0 0 plus 1 equal to 1 now we used bpl instruction bpl instruction is branch if positive branch if positive means that it checks an negative flag if negative flag is not equal to 1 means that it is not set then it goes to level so here level is loop so we move to this level again we subtract r1 from r2 
so right here r1 is 4 and r2 is 0 2 so we will get a result 0 2 right here and next instruction r3 is added with r1 r1 is right now 1 and it is added to r1 with 1 it's equal to 2 now again we used bpl instruction it will check this result this result is again a positive result because it's 0 2 so 0 2 is a positive means the negative flag is not set so it move again right here r1 is again subtracted from r2 now r1 is 0 2 so here 0 2 is subtracted from 0 2 and we will get a result 0 0 now r3 is added to 0 1 so r3 is 2 which is added to 1 we will get a result 0 3 so r3 is equal to 3 now bpl instruction check this r1 if r1 is equal to 0 or r1 is equal to negative then this flag is going to be set so in this case this flag is equal to n is equal to 1 so we are now moving to toward next instruction so here we add r1 into r2 and result goes to r4 register so in r1 register result is 0 in r4 register R4 register uh, in R2 register uh, result is um, value 0 2 so we are going to be add up right here and result is going to be R4 now we subtract R3 with 1 and we will get a result of R3 right here so in this manner the whole program works now let us take a look in software section where we are going to execute this program so this is our successive division program right here we take the input these values value 1 as 0 a value 2 as 0 2 so we start this program from the beginning let us change these values let us define these value as we have explained so initially we change this value now we are going to build or compile our program it shows zero error and zero warning after that we are going to debug section and start debugging so we are executing our program using step by step so in first instruction R1 is loaded with the value 06. R2 is loaded with value of 02. R3 is loaded with value 00. Now subtraction is going to perform. First R1 is subtracted from R2 means 6 is subtracted from 02. We will get R1 equal to 04 then we add r3 with 1 so in this register r3 we store 
quotient and further this instruction BPL instruction check the CPSR here n is equal to 0 means that it goes further toward the level which is defined as loop so we again execute these instructions until we uh, we get n equal to 1 this n will become 1 when this result is negative if this result is not negative then this n is going to be 0 if this result is negative then this n is going to be 1 so after this we subtract again we add the number then we again subtract the number we will get a result 0 then we again execute this after getting the result 0 it goes again to this subtraction command because this n is not equal to 1 after execution now this n becomes 1 so after this the pointer is not going to backward direction it is going to into forward direction so let us check right now pointer is here and it check this uh, over uh, negative flag and this result into next execution of the next instruction so right now r4 is added with r1 and r2 so we will get the result into uh, remainder into r4 and uh, in r3 we will get the quotient so if we divide 6 by 2 we will get r3 as 0 3 and r4 equal to 0 0 so this is a simple program let us change these values to another numbers let us take an example of uh, 7 is divisible by 2 uh, not completely divisible by 2 so in quotient we will get 3 in remainder we will we will get 1 so how this work let's check again debug this section and after debugging we completely execute this program right from here so after completely executing uh, r3 is our quotient so r3 is 3 so if 7 is divided by 2 so our quotient is 3 and remainder is 1 so r4 is 1 let us take another example in this case we take complete divisible number let us take a a means 10 10 is divisible by 2 so its quotient is 5 and remainder is 0 so first weld the target and run this program and completely run this program right from this menu and we will get r3 as 0 5 and r4 is 0 0 so in this manner we can perform this successive sub subtraction 